Hi, I'm Denshi, and oh my god, look at all these files on my system. I would really like to clean up around this place. And you can. Today's video is exactly about that. We're gonna be talking about the various ways you can save space on Linux, especially Arch Linux in this case. A lot of people go out there and install Linux because you can have a more minimalist system that is less bloated, has less overhead, and in many ways uses less storage than Windows. So it would be pretty useless if you just installed the operating system, then bloated it with a bunch of things, and didn't really consider how that affected storage space. So today we're gonna be talking about the best practice Practices, the best software, and generally the best things you can do to manage your disk space on Linux. Actually, this is the first example. It's called File Light. This lets you see where the big files are in your system. In my case, I got a very big Steam folder, which is a bit embarrassing. I also have a big folder with all my videos. It's 21.5 gigabytes just for this channel you're watching alone, which is pretty good for like a hundred and so videos, I gotta say. Then you have, you know, other things, your desktop, all these various things. This is my root directory, obviously, and then my home directory takes up most of it as it will mainly in your case. However, a great way you can clear up space is actually in your packages. So user, ops, that kind of thing. So we're gonna take a look at that first, but not before how to install this. Now, I I'm on Arch Linux, which means that you're probably going to be using the yay or sudo pacman command. So in my case, you could do sudo pacman s filelight to install the software that I was using, which is called, well, filelight. It comes with some KDE variations in some ways, and it's pretty good. Now, I'm going to talk about a couple of other softwares later, but first of all, let's talk about how you can clean up package cache. On Debian, you would do sudo apt auto remove and that would clean up any packages which are unneeded on arch what you can do is either sudo pacman dash sc which clears cache so cache from the pacman packages so old packages which are kept just in case you need a downgrade there's always the arch backup for that which i might make a video about as well but if you're using yay which is an aur helper aur packages keep a lot of space too and if you do yay dash sc then you can clear all the unnecessary cache from AUR packages as well. So see, we actually removed some things there. You can also do yay dash C by itself, and it will remove any unneeded dependencies for actually compiling AUR packages. So this is only on Arch Linux where you'll be using the AUR. Also, let me close this OBS window because that might be annoying for a couple of people. Anyway, let's talk about a similar software to FileLight, but a little bit more minimalist and just, you know, classic. I kind of like it. It's called X Disk Usage. And once again, it should be in your repositories in your package manager. You launch it. It's pretty simple. Got an interface like this. You can select a drive. So in my case, not bad. My root directory. And it will give you this very useful window where you can take a look at what the biggest files are in your system, like in FileLight, but it has a little bit more of a minimalist kind of look to it. I quite enjoy this. This is really nice. And you can select a folder, then it selects your entire thing. You can go escape to go back or reload like this and check the copyright information. Of course, it's free software. So that was an example of simple software you can use. You can also use something called bleach bit, which you might actually run with sudo, sudo bleach bit. And with bleach bit, what you can do is delete a lot of files, like cache files and stuff. So your bash history, if you want to delete that journal D, you probably shouldn't do a deep scan because that takes quite a lot of time and can sort of lock up your system. There's a couple of system things you can do, like cache is a very good one to do. Clipboard, maybe you can do a free disk space takes quite a lot of time. Localizations is a big one. Um, memory is also one that might slow you down. So I'm not gonna put that on temporary files and your trash, of course. So if you press clean, it will begin cleaning those. All right, so we've done it and we've cleared 576.4 megabytes. So quite a lot. It was mostly from localizations because those often do take up a lot of space. I believe this is a good time to point out that one of the easiest things you can do to clear storage on Linux is to remove the cache directory. So you can remove your local user cache directory by doing rm-rf dot cache so that's in your home directory you can remove the system-wide cache by doing sudo rm dash rf var then cache and that clears that cache and yeah that's a very good way of clearing a lot of storage quite quickly because that's where cache is located. Although I wouldn't recommend removing var cache because that might contain old packages or things that you might find useful if maybe your Arch Linux system breaks and you need to get packages and you don't want to go to the backups on the internet. So I'd be wary deleting var cache, but I'd be perfectly fine with deleting dot cache. You're perfectly safe if you do that. There is one last command that I want to talk about, and this is more Arch Linux. I don't know if there's any equivalent for this on Ubuntu or Debian or whatever. It's yay-p-stats. And what you can do is get statistics on your packages. 
So your 10 biggest packages and the AUR packages, which are out of date and all this kind of stuff. You can find it automatically here. So as you can see, DaVinci Resolve Beta is one of my biggest ones. Then Linux Firmware, that's quite a big one. It's got a lot of things. LibreOffice, Wine, TextLive, NVIDIA Utilities, Skype for Web. I have no idea why I have that installed. I should probably uninstall that. Uh, Mono, Docker, also, I don't know why they have that installed. I don't actually use Docker. I'm going to remove that. must have been installed while I was doing something or whatever. But yeah, this, see, I'm already deleting data just by using it. But basically, this is a very useful command for finding packages which are sort of, you know, unneeded. If you use the EA AUR manager or many other AUR managers have a, like similar functionality. Um, so yeah, EA dash P dash dash stats, and it will give you statistics like how many packages, all this kind of stuff. Very, very useful. I hope you enjoyed this video on methods on how to clean up your system and how how to ensure you're not using too much of the space and how to monitor it. I've been Denshi. Goodbye.